how's it going on guys so in this video we'll discuss about this problem reconstruct itinerary given a list of airline tickets represented by pairs of departure and arrival airports reconstruct the itinerary in order all the tickets belong to a man who departs from jfk thus the itinerary must begin with jfk a couple of points to note over here is that the itinerary that we return must have the smallest lexical order and uh, we need to use all the tickets only once so let us consider one example first so over here we are given a list of pairs so if you see it means that there is an airport muc and an airport lhr and there is a direct flight from muc to lhr similarly there is a direct flight from jfk to muc so if you consider these airports as nodes and this pair as a directed edge so basically you will be able to find a graph out of it and we basically have to return the eulerian path of the graph so it's not given in the question that we have to return the eulerian path but basically this reconstruct the itinerary in order this means eulerian path only i know means it's kind of a weird explanation that they gave but they are expecting us to find the eulerian path so first let us try to figure out what is eulerian path and how to compute eulerian path for a graph okay so this is the definition of eulerian path i have taken this definition from wikipedia so in graph theory an eulerian trial or eulerian path is a trial in a finite graph that visits every edge exactly once allowing for revisiting vertices so let me take some examples first so let us consider a simple graph this is a this is b and this is c so for this the eulerian path is a b c so if you follow this eulerian path that is a to b and b to c then you are able to cover all the edges correct so this is what our requirement is we have to cover all the edges so let me just take a better example as well let us consider this example we have a then we have b we have c we have d and we have an e as well over here correct so for this the eulerian path is going to be something like a b e b c d so just follow this path a to b then we have b e that is we cover this edge then e b this is we cover this path this edge then to c so we cover this edge then to d so we cover this edge so we have covered all the edges on going through this route so how to find this route so what we can do is uh, we will apply dfs only so let us consider that the dfs is starting at this point correct so we have to apply dfs and we have to just modify a dfs uh, only a couple of modifications are required to uh, to find this cedar in path correct so what we are going to do is so let us suppose we are starting a dfs at this point so from a we will move to b now the modification is so whenever you are visiting a edge you have to mark that edge basically you cannot visit any edge multiple times because it is given in the definition as well that we have to visit every edge exactly once so somehow you have to mark this edge that we have already visited this, visited this edge so one thing you can do is you can actually remove this edge from the graph so that you won't be able to uh, visit this edge again so so let us suppose that our dfs starts from here so from a to b we move over here, over here and we basically remove this edge from b we can either move to e or to c so let us suppose our dfs goes to c so we come over here and we remove this edge then from c we can move to d we remove this edge from here we cannot move anywhere else so what we will do is we will simply add this to a list correct so we will have d now we will be back in the recursion over here so from c we only had one edge which we have already visited so again what we will do is we will simply add c to the front of the list or the front of the list only so and we will just return back now from c that is from b we have an edge that is to e so we will go to e we will remove this edge then from e to b we will remove this edge we will back to b now from here we do not have any unvisited edge so we will simply explore we will simply add b to the list and we will be back in the recursion to towards here in e so again from e we do not have any unvisited edge so we will simply add e to the list and we will be back in the recursion so we will back to b again so again from b we do not have any unvisited edge so we will add b to it then we will back to a and from a we do not have any unvisited edge so we will add a to the recursion or sorry, to the list so we basically have this thing so if you see this is same as this thing so you are able to find the eulerian path using dfs only just you made a couple of modifications the couple of modifications is 
whenever you are visiting an edge you are simply removing the edge so that you do not visit it again because we have to visit the edge exactly once it is given in the definition only correct and the second modification is that when you are able to finish a vertex that is, that is for a vertex you do not have any unvisited edge you will simply add it to the list the front of the list so that's how you find the Eulerian path a couple of points note over here is that the Eulerian path for a graph only starts from a specific index it cannot start at any index so for suppose for this graph the Eulerian path can only start from this a correct it cannot start from b why is that so, so the reason being for Eulerian path we have to cover all the edges so if you consider this example a doesn't have an incoming edge so we won't be able to cover this edge a to b if you're not starting from a if we are starting from B or E or from C or from D, we won't be able to cover this edge. So we won't be able to find the Eulerian path. So Eulerian path always starts from a specific vertex. Now, how to know in our question, which vertex is that? So it is actually given in the question. It says that the itinerary must begin with JFK. So actually this is the base point of your DFS. So your DFS will move from this, uh, this uh, airport, correct? All right. So anything else so okay so in the question you won't be given this graph what you're given in the question is you're given a list of pairs so something like you will be given a to b b to c c to d b to e and e to b and from this list you have to create this graph correct so this is what you're given in the input you're given a list of pairs so my first thing is to convert this list into this graph so this is the first step and after this, you're given the point from which from where the DFS is going to start, which is JFK. And uh, after this, you can simply find the Eulerian path. One more thing, it is given that we have to find that Eulerian path, which is having a lower lexical order. Correct. So uh, let us consider some examples. So to understand that as well. So let us consider this uh, graph that is A, then we have B, then we have C. So we have an edge from A to C as well and from C to B as well. So if you see, uh, if you move from A, B, C, A, C, B, this forms a Eulerian path as well. If you move from A, C, B, C, A, B, this actually also forms a Eulerian path. So both of these forms an Eulerian path, but we have to return this thing. Why is that this thing? Why is that? Because this is coming lexically order this is this will be before this thing because b is before c so how to achieve that thing so basically from a we first will move to b correct not to c correct so how can we achieve this thing so basically when you are creating a graph so over here you will be given a list of pairs so what we are going to do is we are going to create something called as a map of string comma list of string that is we are going to create an agency list correct so basically we can basically sort this list correct all what we can do is instead of sorting this list we can even create a map of string comma priority queue of string so that we will always get b before c correct so i guess that's it from the explanation so let me just write the code for it and then things will be more clear so first we will have a map of string comma priority queue of string let us name it map and we will having a list of string which is result so let me just initialize both of these things over here so this will be new hash map and this result is going to be new link list correct so the first thing is to build the graph right so first is build the graph so what we are going to do is we are simply going to iterate over this list of list of string given to us so we will be having for list of string so this is going to be ticket for tickets so now what we are going to do is uh, we will have two strings that is from which is going to be equal to ticket dot 
get zero and two which is equals to ticket dot get one why is that because if you see this list is actually a list of two elements from and to next we will check if not map dot contains key for from we will simply say map dot put from with a new priority queue correct and after this what we will do is we will say map dot get from so we will get a priority queue and we will simply add two to it correct so this is uh, building the graph so the graph is over so after this what we will do is we will simply call dfs with this jfk and after this thing we will simply return result so let me write this method as well this is void dfs this will take a string suppose this is from all right now you will have a priority queue of string which can we say as like arrivals which is equals to map dot get of from and you will simply say while arrivals not equals null and not arrivals dot is empty then in that case what we will say is we will call the dfs with this arrivals dot pole so actually if you see we are removing the edge over here correct so this is what we have discussed whenever you are visiting an edge whenever you are visiting a vertex you will simply remove the edge correct so this is what you are doing over here and after this is done we will simply add the current string from in the beginning so this will be add first so i guess that's it let me run this code once so this is giving a long wrong result is this link the list let me submit a solution and got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel thank you all